Recently we were able to read the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic number 113, which shows us all the mess that Dark Spectre is causing, but we could also see the arrival of the Phantom Ranger. In the comic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 114 the Emissaries and the Phantom Ranger are going to have a very important participation and so that you are not lost in this story, I'm going to show you the whole story of the Phantom Ranger, the Emissaries, and Dark Spectre. With this you will be prepared for the next comic and you will also get to know these powerful beings. The story we know of the Phantom Ranger is the one we have seen on television, but his story goes beyond that and begins billions of years ago. This time is not the age of the Phantom Ranger since he comes from the past and we will understand this later. Billions of years ago there was a village that studied the Morphin Grid and called themselves Morphin Masters. One of its members was the Phantom Ranger, which at that time was called Morphinaut and his suit was white with some gold details. He was dedicated to study the Morphin Grid like many others, but his studies were deeper and with very different theories. Many people thought he was crazy and that his theories were only dreams and lies. After many years of research, Morphinaut invented a door that connected to the Morphin Grid since his theory was that inside the Morphin Grid there was a dimensional space. Basically, in simpler words, there was another universe inside the Morphin Grid. These gates are called Master Forge and currently there are very few left since the civilization of the Morphin Masters lived. Planet 0117, which is now Earth, there were several, but they were destroyed. He was doing this experiment with his friend Chendal, a young man who helped him enter the Morphin Grid, even though the Morphinaut did not want help from anyone. When the Morphinaut entered that new dimensional universe of the Morphin Grid he began to feel all that power and energy, but at the same time he began to feel an evil presence. Inside that place was an evil presence called Dark Spectre, which is the opposite energy to the energy of the Morphin Grid. It has always been said that where there is positive energy, there is also negative energy and Dark Spectre is the negative energy of the Morphin Grid. This negative energy wanted to leave the Morphin Grid because outside that universe it could be stronger and because of this the Morphinaut asked Chendal to close the door, but he was unable to do so. Because of this, the Morphinaut sacrificed himself and detonated a bomb to destroy the door, but some of the negative energy had already left the Morphin Grid. This negative energy invaded Chendal's body and gradually turned him into a monster, which became the leader of Dark Spectre's army. After 584 years, the people of the planet were still investigating this gate that the Morphinaut had invented, although they had already built several gates in that world. The planet began to be invaded by the army of Dark Spectre, which began to destroy all the Master Forges. All the Morphin Masters of each city began to enter the Morphin Grid through these doors in order to be safe from the invasion, but the army arrived so fast that sometimes they did not have time to enter all of them, and those who remained outside became part of the evil army. Several friends who were visiting the laboratory where the Master Forge that had been invented by the Morphinaut was located, they were trying to escape by entering through the Master Forge of their city, since the one in the laboratory was not working because of the explosion. At that moment, someone came out of the door, 
it was the Morphinaut returning after 584 years inside the Morphin grid, which had an overload of Morphin energy and had to share it with those friends in the lab. The Morphin Masters had a crystal heart in their chest, which was able to control the power of the Morphin grid, but this power was killing them, so they had to invent something to control that power, that's when the Morphers started. With these new Morphers they were able to control the power and transform properly and formed the Squadron Rangers. These Rangers helped the Morphina battle against Dark Spectre's army and helped free their friend Chendal, who vanished after removing all the negative energy. After this, Dark Spectre began to corrupt the minds of the Rangers, who began to argue among themselves, but the Morphinaut absorbed all the negative energy and allowed Dark Spectre to use his body as a vessel. Because of this, the Morphinaut's white armor turned to black and the gold parts turned to gray. The rangers made the ultimate sacrifice and broke their morphers so that all the energy of the Morphin grid covered the entire planet and drove Dark Spectre away from the Morphinaut and the last Master Forge. Without realizing it, the rangers became the new emissaries, who were not dead, but they were not alive either and now had a greater purpose. At that point, one of the emissaries told the Morphinaut that his purpose had also changed, and he was needed in the future, so he sent him billions of years into the future. The Morphinaut arrived on planet Elter and was greeted by Zordun, who at that time was one of the leading warriors of that planet. The Morphinaut changed his name and introduced himself to Zordun as Phantom Ranger as he felt he was only a ghost of his true identity. From that moment on the Phantom Ranger began to follow the missions given to him by Zordun and one of those missions was to rescue Rita and her mother Lady Fienna. At that time, Rita was a child and her mother wanted to take her to a master forge to fill her with the energy of the Morphin grid so that Dark Spectre could not use her as a vessel. Rita's father, Master Vile, arrived after the energy was inside Rita, yet he killed Lady Fienna and defeated the Phantom Ranger. He then kidnapped Rita to raise her on the side of evil, even though he could no longer give her to Dark Spectre. Thousands of years later, the Phantom Ranger arrived on Earth and helped the Turbo Rangers against Divatox. If you like Morphin Masters, like this video, and subscribe to be the next Power Rangers Phantom Ranger.